trailblazing scientific research being done at the Laureate Institute for Brain Research in Tulsa may lead to a new therapy for people suffering the agony of acute anxiety. A soon-to-be-released peer-reviewed study by a Laureate researcher of the effects of the brain in floating is expected to reverberate around the world. This round pool filled with about a foot of water and containing more than a thousand pounds of Epsom salt is more buoyant than the Dead Sea. It is one of two floating scientific laboratories created by Dr. Justin Feinstein, who is the director of the float clinic at the Laureate Institute for Brain Research in Tulsa. What this allows is for you to float without any effort whatsoever. In, in other words, it's like a mattress of water underneath you, holding up every muscle of your body, and you don't have to move a single muscle to allow it to happen. Feinstein has just completed the first ever scientific study in the nation on floating and its effects on people suffering from debilitating anxiety like panic and post-traumatic stress disorders. 50 people participated in the clinical trial, Unlike many trials, the results had no differentials. The floating results were universal to all who took part. We were really struck by, across the board, how the patients reported very strong reductions in anxiety and stress. And it was very reflexive. In other words, they didn't have to do anything to make this happen. The float environment itself did all the work for them. During the floating experience, patients wore waterproof monitoring devices on their brains and hearts. The effects seem to be rapid. So for example, uh, we're monitoring blood pressure levels in all of our patients. And we're seeing reliable 10 to 15 point drops in blood pressure that seem to occur within the first 10 to 15 minutes of the float. And the anxiety reducing effects uh, in terms of just the subjective experience seem to also occur rapidly within that time period. Feinstein says patients express feelings of peace and serenity, which lasted into the next day or two. Feinstein's research is important to people like Deb Worthington, who, after much research, opened H2O Oasis Float Center in Tulsa a year ago. For less than the price of a massage, anyone can access one of five float rooms for a one or two hour session. Worthington says Dr. Feinstein's findings validate what she and others already know to be true, that floating is therapeutic for the mind and for the body. They have had surgery, they have back issues, they have chronic pain, they have fibromyalgia, arthritis, things that they experience pain in their daily life because of. And some people only find relief in the pool. Nothing else helps them. Ray Licklider is a frequent floater at H2 Oasis. In the last year, he's experienced a concussion and injuries from two different car wrecks. That's so I've been going like several times a week. Uh, and for two hours at a clip usually as well. And it's been phenomenal. As far as like decompressing my joints, my head feels better, just the relaxation, just everything. Regular floater Christian McPherson says the sessions relieved his arthritis, but he says it's the inexplicable state of well-being he felt during his first and subsequent floats that makes him yearn to come back. I went really deep, really fast and um, when I came out and I looked at myself in the mirror, I just, I looked 10 years younger and I just looked so calm and my eyes were just so clear and I felt so peaceful and happy and I was just like, that was amazing, that was really cool. Sam Allen has bone spurs in his spine and prior to floating, he was in pain every day. I started coming for that in January and within, within a month, I have no back pain. I have no back, I have no pain in anywhere in my body. While the majority of clients at H2 Oasis come in for relief of physical symptoms, Worthington says she's seeing more people coming in to relieve psychological stress, like Angie Nunley. I, I struggled with PTSD. You have the fight or flight goes just kind of rampant constantly and it's really hard to calm it down. And this is one of the ways that I can make it kind of stop. Dylan Davis says he was paralyzed with PTSD before working with a counselor who suggested he try floating. And it really seemed to, to, uh, to work, to relax me. And I, I just found that I was in a much more comfortable kind of headspace. 
Licensed counselor Lindsay Benson consults with H2 Oasis about how to work with clients suffering from anxiety. My motivation to partner with Deb and H2 Oasis, you know, definitely came from my own experience of, of saying, wow, you know, wow. It, it's hard, wow seems really vague, but it can be hard to put into words how enriching you know, floating is to your mind, body, you know, just a whole person. A lot of people come out of the first float like this. I didn't know I could feel that good. Dr. Feinstein says patients in his study, some who have been tortured for years with constant anxiety, reported similar feelings of serenity, and that was just after one float. Feinstein is now embarking on a longer study involving extended floating over a period of time. We're just exploring whether or not the effects could have long-lasting implications, not just days or even weeks, but months and years. And so that's part of what these longer-term clinical trials are going to focus on, is really trying to see with repeated practice of this, can you actually extend the, the benefit? Feinstein will be seeking more than 100 people for the next clinical trial. The candidate pool could be large because it's estimated 25% of the population is afflicted with some sort of anxiety disorder.